Good morning. I just woke up. <sighs> well, I woke up about half an hour. Well, I got out of bed about half an hour ago. And I wanted to show you a little bit of my morning routine. All the nettle I picked earlier is all dry. So the next job will be putting together a tea jar. And ideally, over the whole year, I pick lots and lots of things like mint, flowers, nettle, lots of delicious, delicious ingredients, put it all in a jar and dry it, and then that becomes the tea jar for the rest of the year. And I have loose leaf, freshly foraged, harvested tea that I've made myself. Anyway, the routine of the morning. First step is lighting a fire. So, it's just getting started. I use these jars. Somehow, I think it's the label, means that the jar doesn't crack. And that goes directly there. And then I get another, another thing. I get a little mug. And I fill this with water also because this will be for my breakfast. And this will be for an immediate hot drink because that will get hotter faster. So I have lots of hot water. Then the next job I like to do is prepare something for lunch. So either with this or this or on top of my fireplace. So today we've got these two and I've cut this beautiful baby in half. Some olive oil. all over everything just fit there we go so in a couple of hours after this is heated up and got all hot that will be nicely cooked and I don't have to do anything It'll just be ready and delicious by the time I'm hungry. I do a mixture, and there's not much left, so I may as well fill it. It's filling up, but I don't know if I have more. And then I love putting raisins. This jar needs filling up too. And I love cardamom. And this is cardamom that I grind myself. I buy fresh green cardamom pods. I have some cashews. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna refill these jars. Here, my stash of everything. So we need that one to refill. We need this one. We need the rice last we need we need sultanas do I have any coconut oh we have coconut How much space I need to have here. I worked my little butt off yesterday and look what we got in. This. This wall, although it's not screwed in, it's just clamped. 
this is where one side of the bench top is that and this so I need to move this 55 and a three quarters we'll say 55 and a half because I want it to overhang a little there this side here is 39 inches long Woo! and that's this is 96 so we have like two inches two and a bit maybe inches of spare play, play space which means this area I might have to ask my friend Carmel to make me something to go in there which is fine I do actually need to redo these seats because I want them to have a pitch to them so both of these seats I have to redo just this back piece under here it's gonna be my poop bucket and we'll put the poop bucket on a slide but I feel like poop bucket will only need this much room so I can put a drawer in this space new to carpentry and still learning one of the big things is things work better if your structures and construction is square so I've been this is where my drawers are going to be in here and so I wanted to try and see if I could get this piece as square as possible so look it's pretty freaking good pretty good I feel like it's low pressure but also it's going to help me build these sliding drawers in the long run Woo! you have been busy are going in your the back door of the set band? Yeah. Yes. Then this the... No. It's slightly heavy. Real wood. As opposed to fake wood. Well, I think like IKEA like press board. Trim. Trim. <laughs> anyway. Let me show you around. This sink. Ah, look at this beautiful thing. This came out of my previous van build and I'm so stoked that I kept it because it's beautiful and huge. I have a decent amount of counter space. Where are we? There. Burp. Crazy beautiful stove. Ah. Fridge is there and the fireplace will sit on top and I just ordered it so hopefully it will come real soon go there I think I need to put a screw there because that leg is a bit wonky and then behind this clothes bed dinette it's gonna be where I'm gonna be working! Yay! Editing all these videos in future. Oh, this space is incredible. Like, I'm so thrilled. Because we need to go flat. Oak would have been lovely, but it's very heavy. The piece that I think will work for the other end is oak. Ooh. Pretty much. I mean, Time to put the hole in for the tap. Ah, so satisfying. Beautifully. 
to the moment of truth. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's flush. <laughs> and I don't know what sealant to use to glue a sink in place. So please comment below if you know what I should do to seal this. The countertops still have to be sanded and varnished. If you have advice or tips, tell me, because I've never done this before. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Look. Somebody's <laughs> 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 oh. happy. Yeah, oh. like reactivate the yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop all of this up, chop all of this up into lines. One line of that, two rows of that, one line of that. I haven't even seen this out of the box. I know. That is nice. It's a big sink. It's a huge sink. Hi, Frank. Yeah. Hi. And there's so much cupboard space. I'm gonna put some drawers underneath mm -hmm. in one side. Nice. Yeah. And there's gonna turn around behind you. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, we have a fridge in here. Yeah. I don't think I saw that last time. Mm hmm I thought the wood, I thought a wood stove was going to go. It is going to go there. Oh, here. Yeah. For some reason I thought it would go floor to ceiling, which makes no sense. It'd be a waste of space. No. Is it going to sit on this? I'm going to put a piece of slate or something underneath it, but. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then this concrete. Like this way or this way? Uh, in between, diagonally, like that way. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then um. Wetsuits. Wetsuit. And there'll be concrete board on those two walls. And maybe, can you imagine like a piece of copper sheeting over top just behind it? Like shiny, beautiful. Mm. I'm so proud of it. So much has happened. <laughs> Thanks for coming and what? Having a look. Yeah. While you've been busy paddle boarding. Sorry, this light. <laughs> While you've been busy paddle boarding, this is what I've been doing. Nice. Different projects. <laughs> yeah. That's You can be there, Frank. Bedtime? I think so. I'm tired. Yeah, you did heaps of pedaling today. <sighs> and a workout. <laughs> well done, you. You should be proud. I don't know why I thought an upper body workout and paddling on the same day would be smart, but... <laughs> My words are not happening today. Just good morning. Thanks for being here. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. I'm still waking up high. You ready? He's so cute. Who's the handsomest doggy? Yay! Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Such a nice slow morning with the sunshine. Cheers. <laughs> and the Frank always bring in the sunshine, eh, bud? Yeah, he decided <laughs> to hop up and snuggle here by the fireplace. Yeah. The fur place. Oh, fur baby fireplace. He's like, if that's so true, why don't I have a treat right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should I go get you a treat, bud? I think the answer is yes. Yeah. Okay. So, Yum. Mm -hmm. 
really helping me do some work here. <laughs> it's your butt making that noise. Hi. You got some nice sunshine out too. Hey. How are you gonna feel, Punky, if I get a little van cat of my own? Like, we need to have a serious talk. I'm thinking about getting a little kitten. Hey? I know, you're just getting super comfy. Super comfortable, hey? Well, thanks for coming from my construction site. Okay. It's also your birthday coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to give you a birthday present in it weirdo kind of way and make you look for it. <laughs> okay, so I feel like the first place I'm gonna look is in the oven because neither of us want anything in our oven. So it'd be like, I don't know. It's not in there. No. Okay, no, I actually have to look. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Okay, the fridge? I feel like these are now the most obvious place. Oh my God! You got me baking soda! <laughs> I've always wanted some. Like, I said I was going to make an actual treasure hunt for you, so you have to kind of look. Of course. Do I have to take any of your build apart to find it? No. Okay. Okay, a clue. Can I access it from in here, or do I have to go in the back? You can access it from in here. <laughs> oh, there's my tape! There's your tape! I, oh. found, I found your treasure that you needed for days. I've needed this for a whole week so I can finish the ceiling. Ah! Okay. So, great hack for anyone who's lost something. Hide something else in the space you've lost the thing and then get somebody to look for the thing that you got for them and they'll find <laughs> the thing you lost. Oh, well. Oh. <gasps> I found it. I found it. It says Soul Spring. This looks like a present. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I gotta teach my facial expressions to use their inside voice. When I was young, my dad said to me, Amanda, when you think someone's stupid, they can see it on your face. <laughs> oh yay! And chutney. Chutney spread? Yeah. Tomato sauce? Tomato relish. Tomato relish. That I made myself. And this is like a, oh nice. It's like a... Tea towel? Some tea towel? It's a whatever you need it for towel. It's right on my box. <laughs> Thank you. A happy birthday! Thank you. Alright. You wanna do some scrolling instead? <laughs> if I do cutting, you wanna do scrolling? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what you're what this is, but it's like less than a quarter inch. Seven, two, three. They'll all shrink a little bit when you hand them. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. You test it and sit, move the broom and then because it's not my home. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like detention. You don't want to lean on it. Yeah, detention at primary school. Yeah. You can be like, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> don't leave me again. You can't do that over there. There, you're like Monday. <laughs> no. This is like, oh. <laughs> okay. I just made us some lunch. So we have beans, refried pinto beans, which I added rice wine vinegar, garlic paste, 
some sauteed cabbage, sun-dried tomatoes, and tofu with some of this squashes. So this is what we have to top it off. Roast squash. Lots of vegetables. So yummy. Hey Amanda, are you ready for some food? I want <laughs> I'm here roasting coffee. Just roasting some coffee here. And Flossie has brought lunch and is filming it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're yeah, welcome. I'm so excited. Oh, smells like like burnt toast. It's kind of yeah. a really nice smell, but also weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been farmed for a while. Moon is up. We're getting ready to get rid of some cardboard. Little fire. A pretty big day, so we're gonna order some pizza. Coming and staying and having pizza with yeah. me. Thanks for getting pizza. That's okay. I'm not gonna pet him. It's too I know, but he's a sketchy lab dog. Why are you that way, Frank? It's like well, his hypocrisy when it comes to personal <laughs> space. He'll climb on people and then like yell at me in the night because my toe grazed him. <laughs> You're so freaking cute, Frank. You're making my leg very wet. You just this is the patient, like. Oh, it's done. I like it. I approve of it. <laughs> Not that you need my approval, but. Well, the <sighs> Department of Marshmallow Roasting. Approval, approval Society. Hi everybody, I'm doing some baking in my van and van life baking, woo! Uh, I have to make pie. I have a whole lot of 
frozen blueberries from summer that I would like to use up, which is amazing. And I have this, which I got at the store, which is red mill gluten-free flour, pie crust flour. And I'm pretty pumped because I think it's gonna be delicious. And I haven't done any baking in a while, so. What better excuse than making a pie? I've got to go somewhere tonight, so I was like, I'll bring dessert. Woo! So, let's make a pie. A blueberry and cardamom pie filling would be fantastic. So, sugar and salt. calls for six tablespoons so I'm gonna use this set of butter one I picked these on a blueberry farm of a summer somewhere in here I have some vinegar dough aside to rest. I'm gonna make the blueberry topping and my pizza crust. Not my pizza, my pie crust. Just cut a lime in half. And gonna squeeze it into my blueberries. The other thing we're gonna do is put in cardamom. I'm gonna put a decent amount of cardamom in. I think that will be enough. And you can measure, but I know that I want it sweet, but not too sweet, so. Ah! You want to taste something? Okay. Eat a frozen blueberry. Oh, it's frozen. And tell me what you think. This is what's going to go oh, in the Did you put pie. thyme in here? Nope. Because blueberry and thyme are like... Cardamom. Mmm. Cardamom's also good. Blueberry, cardamom, and lime. Mm. Yes. And this is just the sugar that's been turned pink. I don't know what happened to it. I'm so sorry. You'll have to just trust me that it was really delicious. It turned out amazingly, beautifully golden brown. This picture is the only thing I have to show you what it looked like. Anyway, oh well. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. It had some great food in it, some great friends some massive progress on the step van conversion. I'm so proud of myself for doing the step van build. It's still coming along quite nicely. If you haven't already, please give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below your favorite part. I'm thinking I will pull uh, my favorite comment and contact you to send you one of my new stickers. You can find the link to purchase stickers in the description box below. But until next week, thank you so much. Goodbye.